In a world with life frozen due to COVID-19, six students went out to revolutionize the world by working on independent projects, overcoming eye strain, Achilles injuries, and numerous Zoom crashes. These students rose to the challenge. This is the team that shall not be named, better known as TTTSNBN. Hi, I'm Joshua Fink, and for my ELA project, I worked on my medical app that I hope can one day enhance the safety in pediatric code situations. For ELA specifically, I worked on the Flutter interface, learning more about block structures in the Equatable Library, which are important for building business-grade apps. Though we are not anywhere near market yet, I know with all the soft skills and entrepreneurship in ELA, I am feeling more confident in bringing the product to market and one day making it a success. For my ELA project, I read Kafka's Metamorphosis in its original German. I'm minoring in German, however, I'd never read a full novel in its original text. I thought this would be a good challenge, and it's something I've been interested in doing for a while, but never had the motivation. So I'm really glad that ELA gave me the support to actually follow through with the text. It wasn't always easy, and I'm not sure if I picked up on all the little motifs, but generally I think I was able to understand the plot pretty well, and I would consider that a win. I had a great time, and I'm glad that I got to participate in ELA this summer. Als Gregor Samsa eines Morgens aus unruhigen Träumen erwachte, fand er sich in seinem Bett zu einem ungeheuren Ungeziefer verwandelt. Sunglasses. Um, for my project, I was interested in learning more about machine learning this summer, and I also used to work at Starbucks, so I wanted to connect machine learning with coffee beans, and so I created a machine learning program that learns your bean preference over time. Um, and I have to finish implementing the random forest algorithm to get the bean preferences, but once that's done, I'm hoping to connect this machine learning program with a database of small coffee farmers to connect people with what beans they might prefer um, with a small farm of coffee farmers that sell that. I'm Ned. And I'm Parsa. And we, we talk, talk to, to computers. computers. Machine learning class. Being able to do really cool things with data, like linearly classify, or expectation maximization functions, or mixture of Gaussians. Look at all these pretty pictures. And look at all this complicated math. We wanted to use a little bit of that and do something interesting. That led us to a little bit of research on Quantopian, doing things that involve finance and the markets. Maybe we could create a machine learning algorithm that can give us information about the stock market, see how we could apply that. That led me to find this Facebook post about people that are interested in algorithmic trading in this exercise that was posted. So we brought up this algorithmic trading exercise and it had all this information in it and it had all this data that looks a lot like this pages and pages and pages of this data so i wrote a script that is going to download that data and we're going to be able to use it and run something on it 
But then we decided this is more of a theoretical exercise. We want to do something a little bit more practical. All right, so um, who wants to do the outro? How about you do it, Josh? Oh, oh, oh come on. Um, Noah, Zoe, Stacy, Mike. You guys are all muted. Okay. Um, all right, I guess I'll do it. Um, all you. Well, I just like to say thank you guys for watching our video. Um, it was it was fun to make. Uh, thank you guys for uh, uh, thank you guys for hosting another meeting and having this meeting. It was uh, great. And uh, yeah, and I looking forward to seeing you all next week. Or whatever. Yeah. Um, anyway, you guys take care. All right, see ya.